Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to review the 2018 Grey Wolf 29TE. This is a quad bunk unit, kind of a unique setup, but I like it. Especially if you have a big family and you're looking to sleep a lot of people, this is an excellent option. You'll see right behind me you have quad bunks. This is in the back of the trailer, but what you'll notice as we go through is this is a very open floor plan. So that way the kids can run all over and it's great. But quad bunks back here, you'll see that you have windows all the way along the top, letting in a lot of natural light. And then the bottom bunks have windows as well. You'll also see LED lights down here, and both bottom bunks have dual uh, USB ports as well as electrical outlets on both sides. Right here in the very back, we'll open this up. You'll see you have good storage back here. So if you want to put like a uh, dirty clothes basket down below, you can do that. You have a shelf here as well. You know, I might run like a tension rod across here too, and maybe, you know, try to hang some clothes back there. But you do have some different options. And then you have this storage space right here up top. You'll also notice you have TV connections here and a couple additional USB ports. So uh, you can definitely have a lot of entertainment back here. The kids can play with their electronics, especially on a rainy day. And when it's bedtime, you have the curtain here you can close off. And that way, uh, you know, it just helps give a little bit of room separation. During the day, though, as I mentioned, one of the big great things about this is look how wide open this floor plan is. Part of that is due to the fact you have a super slide here as well, which really opens up your main living space. You see the u dinette, which is definitely something you'll need, especially with the four bunks. Chances are you'll have a lot of people in here and you're going to want that extra elbow room. This also drops down into a bed as well. So if you need the extra sleeping space, just simply remove the legs there. The table will sit along these rails, take the back cushions, put them on top, and that will create a bed that's large enough for two adults to sleep on. As far as storage, you certainly don't lose any storage here. Take a look at this. You have massive drawers here on both sides. It's really easy to get to, and it's an excellent spot for some of your extra bedding, pillows, things like that that guests may need if they stay the night. You'll see the windows along the slide right here. Uh, nice big windows let in a lot of natural light there. You also have some LED lights up top for light during uh, nighttime. And then right over here is your jackknife sofa. The thing I like about this jackknife, and it, you know, it's nothing like, it's too terribly complex, but they have these little foam pads, basically armrests. And the thing I like about that is if you ever sat at a couch that doesn't have armrests, it can be pretty uncomfortable. This certainly aids in the comfort of sitting here in the jackknife sofa, especially because you have this center drop down console. You'll notice you have cup holders here, but that's not it. They also light up, which is kind of cool, but more importantly, each one has a USB port. So again, you can sit here, you can plug in your cell phones, uh, whatever, whatever other electronics be able to charge while you're sitting right there in the couch. Plus, you have a great view to the TV. You see you kind of have this almost brick looking wall right here. It's a nice accent wall. The mount is there so you know exactly where to put the TV. And then the corresponding connections are right up top here. You will see the audio, uh, audio video cables right up here. That's because it's already pre-wired to the multimedia center. Uh, so that way you can pop a DVD in, hook your TV up to it here, and be able to watch a movie. Moving uh, forward a little bit here, or rather toward the back again, we walk into the kitchen. Take a look at this pantry, folks. That's awesome. You know, you'll have a lot of people in here. You're probably going to need a lot of food. This certainly gives you the space for all that. Plus, you can put pots and pans in here, you know, toasters, blenders, whatever else you need. You have a massive pantry there. You also have a Norcold fridge freezer built right here in the U.S., which I appreciate. Uh, it has a big uh, drawer in the bottom there. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. And then we move up into the main kitchen area and they take what you know wouldn't would have not a ton of countertop space and they make it extremely usable by giving you both a cooktop cover as well as the sink top cover here so that way you can utilize all of this as prep space for the cooktop we simply fold this back you'll see they do have a decorative backsplash but the glass cleans up pretty easy so it kind of is a double backsplash there but you open that up that reveals your three burner cooktop the front one is high output and then right underneath is your oven in case you want to do some baking. Over to the side here underneath the sink, you'll see you have a shelf built in. So you do have some additional storage there, which is great. And 
you have two shelves right here, two drawers rather, right here. And they're very deep drawers. So you can fit a lot of uh, items in there. You know, if you have a lot of big utensils, you can certainly fit them in those drawers. If we remove this sink top cover, that will reveal your single bowl undermount stainless steel sink there. But it is a good size sink, so you can set your pots and pans down in there. And you have the high rise pull out, very modern looking faucet, which makes washing and rinsing those dishes a snap. You'll also see right here on the wall, you have an electrical outlet as well as a dual USB port. So a couple different places to plug items in. And you have plenty of room here for a coffee maker too. Plug it in right there. You have your tank monitoring panel here, window for natural light uh, during the day, LED lights to brighten it up at night. And then right over there is your stainless steel hood with a light and fan, microwave above that. You see you have the fluted glass here that the brush nickel pulls, we'll open that up, and you have additional storage up there. When we come around to the side real quick, a couple last things right over here. You have your light switches as well as your awning and slide room control. And right below that, this is that multimedia center I was talking about. So you can put a DVD in here, and as long as you have the TV hooked up to those audio video cables, it'll play that movie. This unit also controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. And this unit is Bluetooth capable. The bathroom in the 29TE is quite spacious, and you also have two entrances. One for the main living area, the other one right here into the master bedroom. You'll notice right down here, you have your foot flush lever toilet, obviously plenty of leg room there in front. And next to that is the Neo Angle shower. I like the shower doors here because they're in a roller track. So when you're done showering and you open it up, all the water that's on the doors goes down into the shower pan rather than a swing door where then it's all over your floor. You also see you have uh, some good shelving in there and a hand wand, plus a skylight up top, which uh, brings in some natural light and gives you additional headroom. Right over here next to that is a power vent fan. So if you want to quickly uh, help dry the shower off when you're done showering, you can fire that guy up and it'll uh, get that moisture out of here in a hurry. Right over to this side is a mirrored medicine cabinet. You do have storage behind that. Underneath is an electrical outlet, nice big sink here, and some additional storage underneath that. Lastly, you'll also see right behind me, this is the secondary entrance. Uh, I have a lot of people that like the fact that this entrance doesn't have a window on it, so just gives you that little extra feeling of privacy here. But it's great because that way you can come in, use the restroom, head right back out, and you're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. As we make our way into the bedroom here, you'll see you have a queen bed right there in the center. Kind of a nice cool decorative headboard with some LED lighting in case you want to do a little bit of reading. It also does have storage underneath. You can see that there, so pretty good storage if you need to uh, hide some larger items under there. And on both sides, you have a little nightstand with electrical outlet, dual USB port so you can charge electronics, and you have a mirrored wardrobe with a hanging rod going across. Also across the top of the bed, you see you have some additional storage there. And right here at the foot of the bed, if you like to watch TV, not an issue. They did put a backer in the wall so you know exactly where to mount that TV, and the corresponding connections are right above it. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Grey Wolf 29TE. Starting off right up front, this is a great feature to have folks, and that is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot simpler to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. Simply touch a switch here, that will raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. And behind that, yet yeah, you see you have rails here for your battery. Notice that it is wide enough you can fit two batteries there if you so desire. Coming right up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And then above that, you'll see the front end here is a smooth aluminum rather than the ribbed. The great thing about that is it not only looks nicer, but it's also easier to clean. So it's a lot easier to scrub all those bugs off after a long trip. Coming around to the side here, we'll take a look at the front storage compartment. So you can see that right in there. Uh, there is an access panel, it's currently down, but that panel normally goes across there to block off kind of the water heater there and make it more of a, a nice clean compartment. But it is overall a pretty good storage space. You'll see right over here, you have solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. 
Coming down a little further here, this is the secondary entrance. You have two foldable steps. Pop those out for you, nice and simple, just like that. So there's your two steps, and that way you can go right into the bathroom. Like I say, do your business, head right back out. You do have the grab handle right here as well for extra control. Power awning on here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. It does have an adjustable pitch on there, and you have a bright LED light underneath, so that way you have light at night. You also have light up speakers here on the outside. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but again, that unit is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can sit out here and control it via Bluetooth. If watching TV is more your speed, not a problem. You have a TV mount right here. You can mount it there. Electrical outlets are underneath, and then your cable and satellite outlets are there as well. You see you have a black tank flush here. That's great for washing out your black tank rather than having to grab a hose and stick it down your toilet when you're done camping. You can now hook the hose up right there. That black tank has sprayers built into it, and it will wash it out for you. Right back here is your primary entrance, and I love these steps, folks. These are the more ride steps. Uh, you see a bigger version of them in a lot of the higher-end fifth wheels, and for good reason, these are super stable. Look at this. I mean, you can jump on these things. If you're sick of having the bouncing steps, this is a perfect solution right here. Plus, the steps themselves are aluminum, so they won't rust on you. They have grip strips there, which with, in conjunction with this foldable grab handle means you have excellent control when entering or exiting the 29TE. Now, I showed you the front storage compartment, but not only do you have that, take a look right over here. You also have this storage compartment right here, and this is a big one. In fact, there's even a bottle of water hanging out in there. But uh, that's a nice big storage area there for anything that you want to stick in there. Uh, you know, you do have a lot of outside storage here. And not only do you have those, but take a look at this. You have this drop down rack right here too. So on here you can put wood, you can put totes, coolers, whatever you want, be able to take it with you. Or if it's mounted up like this, you'll see you can also uh, put your spare tire on there, you know, so you can ride with the spare tire there too. But overall, it is a great system. If we take a look right up top next to the window, you'll see you have backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, it's a lot easier to install. And if you don't want to do it yourself, it also means it's easier for a tech, so it'll save you money on labor. Right here on the off-door side, you have your 30 amp detachable plug-in right there. And just in case you needed more exterior storage, take a look at that. There is storage everywhere here, folks. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Gray Wolf 29TE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.